Hello everyone, happy February 2019. This reading is for Leo. All right, so I have a couple things set up here. So I'm just gonna lay out the cards. Gonna get right into it. My place got flooded by the water heater, so I'm reading at a friend's house. So check this out. So that way you guys can see we have Hangman, Five of Cups, Six of Swords, Page of Swords, Ten of Swords Reverse, okay, and the, the six, is, six of Swords is Reverse, a Judgment, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Coins, or, or Pentacles, um, Eight of Staves, Devil Card, Three of Wands, and we have uh, Nine of Cups. So over here, I have a setup for the new moon in Aquarius happening on the 4th. And then on the 5th is the Chinese New Year or the Lunar New Year, which is the second new moon after the winter solstice. So we have here a prosperity setup that you can do and add to whatever you will be doing on the new moon and celebrating the Chinese New Year. So we have the strength card for Leo here. Now Leo is in Gemini's house, so I just wanted to add a little bit more to it and put like Gemini there. Um, and this is based on the full moon. So Leo at center, you're in Gemini's third house. So I put that there. The sun card is here. Okay. And let me see. I'm trying to remember why I put the sun card there. So I will tell you guys in a bit bit. Okay. So I put the sun card there for Aries. You're close enough to... Well, okay, so Aries is the sun, and right now your opposite sign is Aquarius, and Aquarius is in the sun sign of Aquarius now, so I put that there, that's right. Now prosperity, the nine of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, your fire sign, so I put the king of wands down here, and then I put the queen of wands here. You can set it up however you want, but you want your zodiac uh, card to be at the center, and I like these little mini cards. I have to get up to grab the deck. It's all the way over here. I have to put it there. Okay. Okay, it was a little bit closer, but so you can get one of these. I like to get these for like altar or they're good for travel, you know, and I like to keep the box as nice as possible. So I put these like in a bag, you know, the little decks, but I like them. A friend of mine introduced me to to this years ago and she's like you have to get the small ones i'm like yeah those are cute so let's see what your reading is so it's all about how you're looking at things right now leo and your main goal is really uh showcasing what you're good at or what you feel that you want to um be known for or be recognized for so right now you have to like kind of shift how you're looking at things or a particular situation and making peace again with what you feel you've lost, that have failed, that didn't work and just appreciating what you have. And maybe it's time to stay grounded and not really try to change anything as far as moving, but try to get some kind of sense of normalcy or sense of home, a sense of belonging. So try to have a sense of home rather than Oh, I can move here, I can do this, I can do that. But having some kind of foundation would be great for you and, and those that you love. You know, figuring out where that foundation is, where is that home. And um, if you try anything new or start something new, that could be really good. But be mindful of not being used or taken advantage of. So make sure that you look into things really carefully before you agree to anything. And if something goes wrong, um, or if you feel that you um, were right in doing something, and you just, I'm going to lean like this so that way you can see the card, because the glare is kind of hard to see. So just be mindful of how others might be judging you for how you handled something. Um, and just know that you had to handle it the best way uh, you, you could, possibly, right? And allowing yourself to... Put yourself on the path that you want to be on for your greatest success. And it's going to take a lot of work. You have to be patient for things to kind of 
uh, roll and flow uh, to where it needs to be or should be. So, you know, don't overjudge yourself. Don't overjudge a situation. Just try to make the best of the situation that you can, okay? Um, things will start picking up moving quickly, and that's good um, by the end of the month. And make sure that you are in control as much as you can of, of uh, your decision, of what you choose to do, okay, and how you choose to do it. And make sure that you are planning. You know, you're really looking at things from all different angles. And here, here it comes again about um, how are you going to showcase yourself? How are you going to show what you're good at? If you're looking for a new job, if you are trying to um, start something new, right? There's a lot of thought that has to go into it. And just making sure that you're going about it the right way. And if you're confident in how you're going about the right way, it's really how are you going to sell this to the person? How are you going to um, just show that you're the best person for this? And making sure that you are thinking of things that you might not, might not have thought of. So maybe doing a little bit more research on whatever it is that you want to do, the job you want to do. Um, and kind of thinking out of the box and learning something that would complement the feel or make it better or whatever your goal is. So if you're looking for new work, really uh, thinking outside the box can, can help you, can help the situation, okay? So let's look at the playing cards and what um, playing cards will pop up and how it will complement or not. Um, what we are looking at right now okay so just having an idea of of what it is you want and and where you're going to take it and where you're going to go with it can be really helpful um for you this month especially when it comes to like the nine of cups it's like showing off what it is that you're good at what you've achieved and it's all about how you're looking at things. So I like to look at the first card, the hangman, and the, the last card, the nine of cups. So how are you viewing yourself and and what you're going for and what you want? How, how do you look at it? And then how do you think the person that's not as passionate about it as you are or likes what you're offering, how are they going to view it? So make sure you have something extra to really offer that would benefit the the job that you're going for or whatever it is that you're presenting so that you stand out and that's so important for leos to stand out okay so we are dealing with the spades okay so six of spades all right, so let me see what this one needs. Okay, so the six of spades is about moving forward, okay? It could uh, indicate travel um, and kind of leaving the past behind. We we're talking about the move card is in reverse, so it's not so much a physical move, I would think. It's more like a, a mental shift, if you will, right? So the six of spades is about changing your direction of where you're going, what you want to do. And, and maybe it's not a full move, but maybe it's a vacation, maybe it's a travel. It's not something that you would have to uh, truly commit to, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's one definition of it. And let me see, I would like to do a different definition of it. So it, it has to do with just moving. And then how are you moving, right? And what kind of move it is. So sometimes you don't have to do like a physical move and leave, but maybe it's a mental shift. And I really feel it's mental because you have the hangman. The hangman's all about the perspective, how you look at things, right? And mainly how you're looking at the things that you lost and the things that you have, right? And then also how do you look at someone that is a novice, is new to something, 
right? So if there's any kind of jealousy on your part or someone else's part too, that's another way of interpreting that. And, and, and look at how you judge yourself, how you judge others, especially when it comes to misunderstandings, right? And how can we move forward to kind of be on a better path? So thank you guys so much for watching. Happy February 2019. Happy New Year, Chinese New Year, New Lunar Calendar Year, and uh, New Moon in Aquarius. Aquarius is, I believe, your opposite sign. So we can really take advantage of this new moon to set um, a new path, a new way for yourself, a new way of looking at things, a new way of being, and look at What's going on in Aquarius? They have the sun sign, which is birthday time, right? You have the new moon, you have Lilith, and you also have Mercury. And for Leos, you're, you're just you're in the third house. There's no planets in your um, in your house right now where you are for the new moon. All right, which is on the fourth of February. So we have a big event right now. We have the new moon in Aquarius, and we have the Chinese New Year. So enjoy and I will see you guys next time.